uh, Kate, welcome to the show. It's amazing. It's epic. I mean, what better way, right, to continue having an epic day with someone as epic as you? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. I love it. I love it. So, uh, so yeah. How, how like, uh, how are you today? How's your day treating you so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the rain and the wind was kind of getting me down, but I just came mm. off of a very good singing lesson with my teacher. So I've been working for the last hour and a half on some material and cool. exercises. So that really rejuvenated me. So oh. I'm feeling good. How there are you? you? Go. There you go. I'm doing good as well. Thank you. I mean, as I said, here at Better Way, to continue having an epic super day with someone that's super and epic, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> what else can I ask? Wait, man. So, um, right. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, jump uh, uh, right to the questions. Let's dig in here and uh, let's go back in time a little bit here and tell me like how this, uh, how this journey started. Uh, so acting was something that I was always kind of interested in. It was more in the back of my mind, though. I never thought I would ever be pursuing it in any way. But yeah. um, I'm a musician as well. So once I was getting a little more serious about performing, I wanted to make my stage presence better. I was finding I was a little too reserved and scared. And I decided to take some acting classes to just get more confident performing. And little did I know I was going to fall deeply, deeply in love with acting. So it was uh, pretty, pretty instant as soon as I started actually taking classes. I love it. That's a pretty cool story. And, you know, like focusing here, like a little bit on your acting career, tell me how you prepare a character. Now I get it, of course, that it depends on the role, and, you know, but like, what is your, your usual or like your initial approach to start this process? Uh, first thing is just studying as much as I can the mm -hmm. material I've been given. So just figuring out like looking for clues basically i feel like is what you do with a script like is is my character very direct in my lines or is my character kind of um meandering around things or shy or you can tell a lot just from the script and then of course you have to work with the description as well so you try and marry the description you were given for the character sometimes there's honestly not a lot so you get a lot more leeway that way um and you merge that with a story and the lines and from there figuring out all the parts of myself that are already almost exactly in line with the character um so yeah for example if the character is very direct then i generally don't have a problem with that and no. uh so, and then if there is some other element like if i'm playing a cop then I have to figure out how to carry a gun properly because I've never shot a gun. So there's Absolutely. there's all these other elements that come into play that are a little more technical and you try and make sure that you are comfortable physically in mm. the world that that character is playing as well. There you go. I mean, that's pretty cool. And also the fact that you get the chance um, to learn so many things, you know, uh, cop, for example, or, mm -hmm. you know, you can be cop one day and then the, the next one you could be like superhero janitor mm -hmm. teacher i mean there's like so many cool stuff that you get a chance to and i think also it helps yeah and also i would say that the fact that you are able to learn new things also it opens yeah it opens your mind as a pretty cool experience because you are able to learn so many different things right so absolutely yeah that's kind of the appeal is like playing all these different people you're living all these different lives kind of for a short period of time and all the skills that come along with it is super fun i love it i love it and Tell me, like, what has been your funniest or worst addition you ever have? Um, so, so, okay, quick one first. The kind of the funniest, I was at a recall for a commercial for um, a mattress company. Okay. And the I was waiting in the waiting room with a bunch of girls that looked just like me. And the a gentleman comes out of the audition room and is reading off the list of the names. And he's saying, Kato. He's looking <laughs> around. No one's answering. Kato. Kato. And I was like, do you mean Kate? And he was like, oh yeah, the E looked like an O. So I was just laughing. I thought it was the funniest little, it was so so silly and inconsequential, but I just was laughing and laughing and I got into the audition room and I was full of life and joy and laughter. Oh. And of course I got it because I was so happy. Um, yeah, that was definitely the funniest, I think for me. And then, oh God, there have been tons of bad ones. <laughs> Okay. so many bad ones I don't know um, one in particular comes to mind also for a commercial mm. commercials can be the trickiest I think yeah yeah um, you had to I had to act as if I was in pain so it was for pen, pain medication I had mm -hmm. to have a very specific pain 
in my knee and I was supposed to be dancing with a niece or a nephew, a do some, some kind of child and in pain and I'm hopping around but trying to pretend that I'm not in pain and making funny faces at them and they kept giving me these strange directions and I was just in a room by myself. There's no yeah. kid, there's no anything. And uh, I'm sure I bombed that. I was just a, a mess, just hopping around, pretending I looked sore and not knowing what to do. And yeah, that was the worst probably. Mm. Mm. You know, I, I have heard that, that specifically like on commercials, as you, as you mentioned, the fact that they will ask you to do so many weird things, like, yeah. like randomly hug someone, randomly sing, or do, you know, do a singing and dancing at the same time, or, mm -hmm. you know, like so many cool stuff that, I mean, that I'm pretty sure that they're kind of off. <laughs> right but yeah cool. yeah <laughs> okay okay i love it and um tell me like if you could yeah so let's say that one day i call you and i tell you that i want to become an actor now i don't have any experience at all like zero so based on what you know what advice could you give to me or to even someone as well who doesn't know anything about it but wants to start this as a career change let's say i would say the very first thing you're going to want to do is find an acting class and just get going with some kind of education because okay. you'll just get loaded up with actual information and you get to really try it that way so i think yeah i don't i, I think that's really the only starting point that i would ever recommend i've mm. heard of some actors kind of just like i'm just gonna get an agent I'm like, but have you done a scene before <laughs> like do you know any actor yeah. like you should definitely just try and learn a little bit about it first with a class and you meet actors that way too okay fair enough fair enough now what about how like going back a, a little bit here with uh with your character tell me like how you usually break character you know like you shoot the scene and then cut and then like how's your process to return to be you is it like something super easy like oh i'm back or does it take like a little bit of time like like what is your thing let's say for the most part um especially on a film set, I haven't really had trouble breaking character afterwards. I'm, I feel pretty, as soon as it's cut, I feel I've been able to just kind of, I, I, I can play pretend and I can easily stop playing pretend, okay. I think. Mm -hmm. um, but then there are definitely instances where, especially if it's something more emotional, if you're doing a very emotional scene that it doesn't evaporate as soon as cut is called. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily feel I'm in danger of staying in the character, but there's, often lingering emotion and that's okay you know sometimes after at the end of the day or something you might just cry for a while and <laughs> that's fine but uh in general i don't have problem with the cut but there's always lingering emotion if there's mm. something emotional going on okay pretty cool pretty cool now what about let's say that one day right netflix hbo max disney plus you name it they call you and they tell you that they want to create that they want to create this film in which basically goes that all of the characters you have played at the moment will gather to celebrate your birthday. Tell me, like, <laughs> how, what would be the name of that film? A fun fact, my birthday is tomorrow. Um, oh, there you go. There we go. So this is very timely. This thing is going to take place tomorrow. Uh, I feel like it would be called something, like, impatient and volatile. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. But, yeah, no, I, I think I'm just going to stick with that. I feel like my characters, they, they seem like impatient as a theme and mm. they might do anything even if they're reserved they always have a little lingering crazy in them so yeah, yeah. and what type of film would it be like uh like, like what genre it would be like comedy dark comedy horror action <laughs> uh i think there would be it would be a dark comedy with some action sequences in it okay all right fair enough now, what about if you had to choose one of your characters to go out and get some drinks, which character would you choose to go along with? Uh, so my first impulse is to say a character named Twyla that I played. Mm. Um, super, super party girl, but very much, probably a little bit too much of a bad influence that okay. in my head, I think she'd be very fun to party with. But I think in practice, it would probably turn pretty badly pretty quick um so oh no i'll just say her who knows it would be a crazy night if i'm just gonna go for it i would go for it with this crazy twyla absolutely i yeah. mean and now now that you mentioned that you also sing tell me how you 
like how you prepare the voice let's say like like what is like how you do you train it before you start singing oh for singing um i have some specific warm-ups that i always do um the the one that i find opens my voice up the most it's weird and i don't know if i want to do it on camera because i end up looking really silly but ah whatever um it's like the motor mouth one like <laughs> you just do that like you, you keep doing that for a while longer than what okay. i just did but i find that one is great for getting the voice more to the front of your face rather than mm -hmm. stuck in your throat yeah. um and it makes you just kind of get out of your head too because you feel silly um and it relaxes your jaw that's probably my most effective warm-up technique mm. but i've got like a whole bunch of things i do i'll take if i'm going to record singing or something i'll spend a while warming up with a bunch of other things too okay okay i love it huh all right and same thing if, if i want to become a singer what advice would you give me it's funny that so in general i found a music career to be a less direct path but mm -hmm. you also kind of have more control over it so mm. like for, for with acting you go to a class and you build up a resume and eventually get a agent and then you go to auditions and so so on but for music it's uh for singing it's really different you kind of got to carve out your own path it's not like you get an agent it's not yeah. like you i mean you, you want to take lessons of course i think in anything you artistic you want to pursue mm. it's a good idea to just get instruction from people who are better than you and who know more than you have been doing it for longer um so definitely lessons or classes and then i think trying to figure out like if you want to be a performer starting with open mics um karaoke actually even just starting with karaoke and from there there try to go to open mics and there you can network too you can um get a feel for what it's like to perform for an audience mm -hmm. your own music but they're so supportive usually too because they all get it they're all doing the same thing so you can network and i've met people at open mics that i've ended up make, making music with before so i think that's yeah that would be my starting point for being a musician and also figure out how to produce music yourself just get okay. like garage band and just figure out something i think that's uh key there you go i tell you what if i ever get first an oscar for best actor and then a grammy for best album i'll be making you my thank you speech absolutely please do i insist i love it i love it and my last question here is like what motivates you you know we all have those days that basically we, we just want to quit you know it's uh we get this idea that we are that we're terrible in what we're doing that it's been a waste of time so my question here is like what gets you out of those toxic thoughts and pushes you back on this journey that you have been for so many years now that is a great question and it's always a battle uh well not always but when it's a battle it's a real battle so i think it's just a matter of keeping true to what i want my life to look like i know that i'm not suited for a nine to five i know that i'm not suited for mm. um a conventional career or job so yeah it's really important for me to use this one single life that I have in a way that I'm gonna enjoy it more than not. And I th honestly think that this is the way for me to do it. So just trying to keep that always in mind yeah. that this is by far the best option and I'm lucky as hell that it's even an option that I get to pursue it in the way that I do. So yeah. I think that's it. There you have it. There you have it. I love it. And also the fact that, that you're doing what makes you happy, that's that's amazing. I mean, as you said, the fact that you were uh, pursuing something different, you know, something uh, like outside the classical box, which is find a job in a corporate and stay there. And, you know, mm -hmm. the fact that you are like outside of it and you're actually making it happen. You're getting results. That's pretty cool. I'm super sure that our next conversation, uh, yeah, our next conversation one day is going to be you presenting your action figure. That will be cool. Ooh, I like that. I can't wait for that. Yeah, that will be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, keep doing what you do. I also want to thank those who watch this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you're either listening on Spotify or Apple Podcast, make sure to go follow Kate. Video's over. So go follow her. I'm going to leave in the description below her link so you can follow her. Let's make her viral. Hashtag Team Kate because she's awesome. She's amazing. And Kate, again, thank you so, so much. Keep inspiring because I'm super sure you are, besides giving us super cool performances, you're also inspiring us. And that's badass. And uh, keep doing it. Thank you so much. It was awesome to be here. You're inspiring people yourself.
Thank you. So I'll see you in the next one. All right. See you then. All right.